Hello guys! So it's already the day two of our event and we were able to pull someone here into our interview area and we've got someone amazing who flew in all the way from Singapore. I want to introduce you guys to my friend Tats but he's also known as Tatsuya Karogi of course from Play Mining. Hi Tats! Hi Myrtle! So how have you been feeling? How has the event been for you? It's been great. It's oh, been yeah. great. You know what guys? I have to honestly say I think Tats has like the most people who's asking for a picture. <laughs> in the event because you just have such an amazing aura. I love that you're always smiling and everyone here loved your talk yesterday. So how did it feel giving that talk? It was amazing actually. It was our first time coming out to a global event like this. So very exciting. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, Play Mining, guys, is huge in Japan. But you were telling me that this is the first time that you guys went into an event here in Southeast Asia and a play-to-earn event as big as this. And how has it been? It's been great. We got to meet a lot of people. So from gaming guilds, investors, to even developers. So talking with everybody in the ecosystem has been a really insightful time for us as well. Um, who did you enjoy talking to the most here? Oof, tough question. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I am pretty sure you met a lot of people here in the event. Bitcoin Man and I had a good <gasps> cheers. Uh, it was good Ooh. talks. Uh, but got to meet a lot of great people too, from like YGG, Play the Forward DAO. Uh, had a from great time. From the different night. guilds yeah. who are here, and you know, from your talks, a lot of I personally learned a lot from your talks, and I was so amazed that. Play Mining is really helping out content creators. So um, just to give you guys a brief background, so Play Mining yesterday talked about how they were helping uh, original content creators, like artists mm -hmm. from different animes and mangas, and helping them turn their art into NFTs. And at the same time, also creating games in which everyone can start playing and earning at the same time. And I just want to say that Props to you guys. And how did you guys start this concept of really giving help to our artists? So back in 2016, it goes mm. back, uh, Mr. Ide, the chairman of, ex-chairman of Sony, was the one that inspired our founder, Goro, mm. to go into blockchain. And Goro has always been in the entertainment and has been interested in games as well. And he thought, okay, with earning, mm. Maybe with blockchain, everyone's using it as crypto. Yes. But imagine if you can w earn from games. Yes. And, and in 2018, DEA was founded. And 2020 was when Play Mining was released. And this is when we first started collaborating with the anime creators from Japan as uh, co-founders have extensive background in entertainment. So we started collaborating with a lot of artists, created NFTs, and then through Play to Earn, we were able to give back royalties to these creators. And it's been two years now, and it's just taken off. I know. So you guys are one of the largest in Japan. And I really love the part that you guys can actually, you know, choose your favorite pieces of art and turn them into NFTs and playable NFTs, actually, Correct. you were telling me earlier. So you could actually use them to get into the game. And there's also a card game. Am I correct? Correct. Or... So our most popular play to earn game is called Job Tribes. Ooh. And it's a, a trading card battle game. And a lot of the creators create these characters in our Job Tribes game. And the fans of these creators will buy these NFTs as like collectibles as well. But it's not just a collection, it can be utility for play to earn. So you can actually earn and uh, play the games with the NFTs as well. That's so nice. So Japan is actually known as a place, I would say this because um, you guys know that we started off as a cosplayer and that turned my entire career. And I'm just so happy that finally there is a platform that's giving back to these creators because it is the first time that I heard about the um, that creators earn so little from the things that they create. But with, of course, the incorporation of the blockchain, you these creators can actually earn much more and of course, you know, for their time and their skills actually make the most of their skills in the blockchain space, which is what you guys are doing. Thank you for that. Yeah, so at Play Mining, we are aiming to become an IP monetization platform that empowers mm -hmm. creators. And GameFi is one aspect where we have multiple games like Job Tribes and where you could play to earn and utilize these NFTs that these creators create. But also, we have a metaverse business where creators can create their own world oh. and co-create with the fan. So the fans purchase these land NFTs. And wow! Yeah, so far we have a, a collaboration with a famous artist, uh, Fujiwara Kamui. He's created the uh, Dragon Quest, and he's created this whole world uh, in the metaverse. And that's been very exciting as well. 
Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Because guys, as anime fans, normally would we would go on forums and we'd be like, I hope this character doesn't die. So yeah. you guys can actually do that in the platform now because you listen to the holders. Exactly. So what they're doing right now with our first Metaverse project is that the community has decided they want to create a comic and a manga series. So they're already actually on the third arc already. Oh my gosh, um, that's how, crazy. How it's working is that the community and the creators are discussing on Discord and holding events like a race with all the characters. Oh my gosh. And the most popular character, whoever wins that race, it changes the future of the of next the, arc. Oh my of the story. gosh. So it's the first time where fans and the creator can interact directly and co create a story and anime together. That is so cool, cause like as a as a fan, I read mangas, and if you guys um, get that opportunity, you can actually dictate the destiny, yes. <laughs> the destiny yes. of your character. And so that's I'm just gonna ask you a few questions here. So the entire Filipino community is huge with play and earn games. And to put it in simpler terms, how would you define um, blockchain and play to earn games? It's tough because there's so many types yeah, of play and earn games. I know. <laughs> and I think right now it's still very early, so the UX is very clunky, right? It's, yes, it's hard yes, to access yes. sometimes. Like, how do I convert crypto into fiat? Mm -hmm. So, all these, the process of blockchain game is still very early, but I think just getting involved and trying it out and learning the process is probably the first step. Mm -hmm. And then developing it together, it, it's still very new. Everyone's working on creating something that's more useful and accessible and easier. So something at Play Mining we're trying to do is create a platform that's more accessible and easy for users to jump into and just enjoy the game. I want to ask you about what's your opinion to you users who are actually into games, who are actually fans of anime, but really don't know much yet about blockchain gaming and who are curious about, you know, how can they put in their skills in games and in arts into the blockchain? So for gamers, I think Trying out most of our games, our most popular one is Job Tribes. Yes. And so for gamers, I think it's just about what's fun, right? So, yes, I mean, yes. Everyone doesn't have all the t time in their hands. Yes, like, yes. So finding the game that's right for them is probably the first step for gamers. For artists, I think it's about constantly creating as well and partnering with uh, such platforms mm -hmm. and seeing ways how you can get involved in this Web3 space will probably be a really good start. And with that, I actually also want to ask you more. So I, I've heard that you guys have so much in line, like many upcoming games that will be released in the next few weeks. Uh, can we learn more about that? Yes. So uh, as I mentioned, our GameFi business, we have multiple games, mm. play to earn games on our platform. And next week, uh, we're planning to release our next title called Cooking Burger, which is an interactive uh, cooking, cooking type of game where you're getting orders from customers and creating a burger and serving your customers. So it's going to be a more interactive type game. Oh. Yeah. And then the following months, we're actually going to release two more titles. And the next one will be called Dragon Ramen, which will be uh, your employees of a ramen restaurant will be going out on quests and beating these monsters. Okay. And collecting rare items to okay, create okay. a rare ramen. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And the last one's called Graffiti Eraser, where okay. you get a NFT that's not colored in. It's, got, it's kind of like a color book. So okay. you color your NFT and you can race your NFTs. And it's Ooh. more of a racing type game that'll be coming out. So you, ca you can get creative with your racing NFT and then use it to race as well. Exactly. I, I'm quite curious. Um, so from Japan, how are you guys going to transition globally? Because I know that you guys are already very huge in Japan. And now it's time to actually um, visit here in Southeast Asia. And with, you know, so many successful games here, um, we wanted to ask, how are you guys going to branch out to mm -hmm. each and every single area here? So we're actually very big in Japan, but Japan's like the fourth biggest market for us. Our oh. Top three actually is Vietnam, Indonesia, and Philippines. <gasps> so we're actually pretty big in Southeast Asia already. And we have a user base of about 2.4 million users. Amazing. And so this is our first event coming out globally, but uh, coming out to events, uh, sharing what we're doing, and also uh, collaborating with a lot of guilds have, has been a very big uh, strategy for us for expansion. So we're looking forward to partnering with more guilds across all the regions and share our play mining games with all the scholars as well. Thank you very much. Well, to wrap it all up, we just wanted to ask you, with everything that you experienced here in our event, what is the thing that you learned here the most from all the people that you met here in the event? 
think there's different types of stakeholders here. So everyone has different purposes to be here. Yeah. But understanding where each of these players are at right now and where we're at has been a really good, insightful time. So just having this discussion has been one of the biggest lessons for us. Oh, that's awesome. Well, guys, this is Tats, and do check out Play Mining.